Hello everyone. Welcome to Gym Therapy for Wealth. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys today about some gemstones and some minerals um, that can welcome abundance into your life, money into your life. Um, they can also get rid of uh, negative money energies. And as you know, you want your, your money energies to be positive. So you're always attracting wealth. Um, people have been doing this for over 5,000 years, um, using gemstones and minerals to aid wealth and abundance into their lives. And I'm going to go over some gemstones with you today um, that you can wear or carry around with you or keep under your pillow um, that will bring some wealth into your life. Um, and like I said, this has been, people have been doing this for over 5,000 years and for me, it helps. It works. And I've been doing it for years now. And I notice certain stones bring me certain money, um, help me with being positive for wealth and abundance. So I wanted to start with the first stone. And the first stone I wanted to start with is the yellow sapphire. Um, if you're looking for fame, fortune, uh, wealth, then you want to wear a yellow sapphire. Um, it's a beautiful stone and it's a stone that increases your wealth success. So it's a great stone. Yellow sapphire will bring you fame, fortune, success. So, you know, you might want to wear it in a ring or a necklace, but this will bring you fame, success, and wealth. If that's what you're looking for as far as fame, but wealth, yes. Um, the next stone is a green aventurine. And this stone brings you good luck. Um, it's a good luck stone. So if you're looking to attract wealth, if you're looking to attract money, um, it's a great stone. They say you should wear this stone to a casino or on a job interview because, you know, that's what the stone thrives off of. It thrives off opportunities. And um, once again, that's the green adventure. And that's a great stone. The next stone is the brown agate. Now this aids in success. Um, what it does is it attracts wealth. So this is another stone that you can wear either in jewelry or you can just buy the crystal and carry it around with you. It doesn't have to be in any certain uh, ring or necklace or anything like that. And the next stone is citron. Um, citron is known as the money stone, the wealth stone. Um, so if you want to buy rings and jewelry, uh, make sure it has citron in it if you're trying to attract wealth and abundance because this stone is known as the money stone. So citron is the, the money stone. And the next one I wanted to go over you with is garnets. Um, garnet is my birthstone. And um, one thing about garnets are they help remove negative money energy. So if you're broke or um, you don't have enough money, you're living check to check all the time, um, you may have some negative money energy. So garnet is the perfect stone to ward off those negative money energies. So if you have some negative money energy floating around, wear a garnet, a necklace, a ring, or once again, like I said, you can just buy the stone and keep it in your pocket or under your pillow or in your purse, in your wallet, and just have it with you at all times to guard off these negative money energies. Um, emeralds. Emeralds also attract wealth. They say if you're in business of communications, uh, that emerald are great and will bring you wealth in that field of communications. Um, African Jade. African Jade is another one that attracts good luck. It attracts good luck. It attracts wealth. Um, so that's another stone. If you can't find it in jewelry, because it is rare to find uh, African Jade in jewelry, um, you can just buy the stone. And a lot of times I buy stones as well just to have them. Um, you know, I keep them in my pocket. I keep them under my pillow. And, um, you know, it works. African jade is a great um, stone for luck and wealth. 
um, the next stone is bloodstone. Now, bloodstone has been used since medieval times. Uh, people would keep bloodstone around their bed and, you know, it would draw money to them. And um, what bloodstone does is it enhances success and wealth. Um, very, very popular in the medieval times. Um, you would see lots and lots of bloodstone everywhere. So bloodstone is great to attract money and success and also to enhance it. Um, the next one is fire opal. The fire opal is uh, kind of interesting. Um, fire opal was known to be created in the waters of paradise. So it's kind of like if you wear a fire opal stone, um, it will create paradise for you. And like I said, once again, it's not one of those popular stones that you might find in a ring or in a necklace or anything like that, but you can just buy the stone. Um, Amazon.com. You probably can buy any stone, any crystal from Amazon.com. So fire opal. If you want to create a paradise in your life, wear fire opals or buy them and just carry them around. Keep them on you at all times. And the last gem I wanted to talk to you about that will attract wealth to you and abundance is tourmaline. Now, tourmaline, is, it's very pretty. Um, it has all types of colors. It can range from like purple, green, black. Um, this attracts money and it enhances. If you have a business, um, it attracts money to your business. Um, so it's a very attractive stone for wealth. So if you want to attract wealth, tourmaline is a very, very, very good stone. And I just wanted to share a few pieces of jewelry that I have because when I wear jewelry, I wear jewelry for a purpose. And um, well, one that I'm wearing today is uh, this bracelet here. And these are called slave bracelets. That's just the name of it. And mine is drenched in garnets and carnelian. Um, once again, garnet is my birthstone. It helps me rid negative money energies so I drape myself in it all the time and also the metal is copper um, if you don't know when you're trying to attract things to you copper is the metal that you want to wear so carnelian and garnets attract and I'm, I'm warding off negative money energy when I wear my garnets and um, you know and I'm attracting everything with this carnelian and garnet, I'm attracting wealth and abundance. A lot of my jewelry I wear because I am attracting or warding off something. I love my stones, I love my gemstones, and I wear them a lot. Um, this is a bracelet here that I have. It's an abundance bracelet. Um, it's jade and malachite. Um, this is an attractive abundance bracelet. This is all that this bracelet does. It attracts wealth and money to you, abundance, because that's what jade and malachite is for. So this is a very, um, one of my important bracelets that I wear a lot because I'm trying to attract wealth on all ends. Um, another bracelet that I have that I wear almost daily um, this was actually a gift that was given to me, but if you look, um, it has garnet, it has citron, um, it has peridot, it has blue topaz. Um, this, I absolutely love this bracelet because it gives me so much um, gym therapy. You know, when I wear it, I just, I just love it, love it, love it. And anytime you mix citron and garnet together, that is powerful um, for money, for wealth. Um, just very, very powerful. And um, that's another one of my bracelets that I really, really like. Um, and I also wanted to share with you guys today how to make a gem elixir. Um, I don't know if you know this, but every stone has a certain property. Um, whatever the stone has in it, um, you can actually put that stone into water. And that water will draw out the properties of the stone. And then after you take the stone out, you can then drink the water. And then 
those properties will be transferred into your body, into your system. So I just wanted to show you how to do that. And um, here's this glass that I'm just using, just a simple glass. And the stone that I'm going to be using today is called fluorite. Now, this is a very, very, very powerful um, stone. You can just take a look at it. And fluorite is called the genius stone. Um, what it does is it gets you to your highest level of consciousness. Um, and being at my highest level of consciousness is important to me. It's very, very important to me. Um, because when you're at your highest level of consciousness, you can attract things, you can draw things, you can make things happen for yourself. You can also see things more clearly, your life path, um, what you want to do for your future and things like that. Um, those things become clear to you. And um, fluorite is a good stone for that. It's a good stone. It's called the genius stone. So what I do is I take my crystal, I put it into my glass, just like that. And then I take water. Um, I like spring water. I like to use spring water. I'm not a fan of tap water because there is fluoride in it. And once again, I don't do fluoride. I really try not to. I know I bathe in it, but I try to use spring water and I'm using a bottle of Perrier. Now what you wanna do is, you just wanna drench the stone with the water, okay? Stone is in the water. Now what's gonna happen is all the properties that this stone has, all everything that it holds, um, power, protection, um, like I said, it's the genius stone. Um, it's gonna enhance my abilities to see things more clearly, connect me more with my soul and my highest conscious level. Um, all those things are going to transfer into this water. And what I do is I usually put it on a window seal in the sun to speed up the process, which, you know, could take two hours. Um, if you don't put it in the sun, then it's going to take about eight hours um, to process. So this is my gem elixir. Um, I will be drinking it later, um, but for now, I'm going to put it in a windowsill so I can speed up the process because I want those properties of this stone in my body. And um, one thing you don't want to do is <laughs> if you're wearing the stones, um, you don't want to use the stones that you wear for your elixirs. Um, just kind of keep them separate. Keep your elixir stones, you know, just for your elixirs and your wearing stones, you know, just to wear. Um, just keep them separate because you're using them for two different things. And um, that pretty much wraps up what I wanted to talk to about today. And um, I hope I, that I'm helping others um, aid and attract wealth because I can do it for myself. And, you know, if you guys use the tips and the things that I do, I think you can aid and attract wealth and abundance into your life as well. And um, if you haven't read my blog, it's called Wealth Therapy. And um, the link will be posted down there at the bottom. And you can read my blog. And um, I want to thank you all for watching this YouTube video. Thank you.